Hello, friends. I have an announcement to make. I am at the Grand Canyon, carved by the Colorado River over the course of six bajillion years, maybe just six million. You want to talk about hard things and persistence? The Colorado River just worked and worked and worked. Millions of years made something wonderful. That's a hard thing to do. I tell you what, it's a good thing that the Colorado River didn't procrastinate like I do. Some people, some of you do, because we wouldn't have this wonderful wonder of nature. Now, why am I at the Grand Canyon? I'm here with a camera that hasn't hit the market yet. Now it has been announced, so I'm not breaking any sac sacred co covenants by talking about the Nikon Z8. I won't talk much about it um, because, you know, the surprise will be in the big review, but um, it's exciting to have something that hasn't quite hit the market yet. It's a little scary because it's really, really expensive as cameras go. It's not the most expensive, but it's it's up there. It's going to be about 4,000 US. That's with like nothing, <laughs> just the camera body, no lens or anything like that. So I've got a few lenses with me and um, I'm going to be doing some sunrises and sunsets over the next couple of days, basically Thursday, Friday. And we'll see what we get. You never know. It's a nice cloudy afternoon today. I'm walking towards a place right now called Shoshone Point. Shoshone Point is kind of off the menu. Now, I'm not going anywhere that I'm not supposed to, but a lot of uh, private events can be in the Grand Canyon can be held at Shoshone Point, so it's kind of hush-hush, so you don't get a lot of traffic. And it's a pretty short hike to get there, but it is high elevation and it's kind of uphill, so, you know, there's plenty of other good overlooks that uh that are easier to get to but shoshone is something special anyway why why me why am i here talking about cameras and testing cameras well that's something my wife usually does and i'll talk about more about why in a minute but she's not able to to be here right now so i said uh would you like me to go to the grand canyon and test this camera and work with nikon and get these wonderful pictures and i said no I should stay home, I should care for you. She's having back surgery again on Monday. And no, none of that ha happened. I said, hey, you want me to go up to the canyon and work with this thing? Because I know your back hurts. And she said, yeah, why not? So uh, I called her up this morning and I said, you know, I think the pictures are gonna be pretty good because I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. So anyway, it is, it is working out uh, pretty good. And talking about hard things, and this is sad and disappointing that she can't be here, but she is getting this surgery on Monday. She's getting a spinal fusion. I've never had that before. Maybe some of you have. It kind of scares me a little bit, but um, I'm not the one getting it. She's the one doing the hard thing to make this decision and try to get some, some pain relief. She had an earlier, more minor surgery that really didn't seem to do the trick. So I don't know, they're putting rods in or I don't know. I don't know what happens. I don't know if it's metal or she's part robot now or something like that but uh i know it is uh, a uh, intensive surgery it's outpatient it's an intensive surgery but it uh it should really fix fix the problem and if you know her some of you do some of you don't she's always doing the exercise and so she'll be doing the physical therapy needed to hopefully never have to get any kind of back surgery ever again um, it's kind of been a real bummer for the last six months or so because she's just been in a lot of pain but those of you who know her know that she's pretty badass she's not going to let it get her down she's going to get through the process and uh, she's going to get done with it and move on and then she'll be here too and i'll be like hey it's both of us but right now it's just me so anyway i'm walking well it is a uh, it's a little more uphill than i remember but that's all, just a quick one today, just to check in, show you some pictures as I, as I walk here, maybe a video or two, see how you all are doing. Um, let you all know to be thinking about my wife, whether you know her or not, the thoughts, the thoughts are always nice and appreciated. And uh, you know, I'll update you next week. And oh, in terms of the uh, race, race and races that I'm training for, I decided to add some intermediate milestones this year uh, so I could get some 
checkpoints along the way. I've unfortunately, I'll talk more about this next week, but I've entered a very long race <laughs> on a very, on what is going to be a very hot day. So there's going to be some planning required for that. And then that's part of the bigger plan of uh, doing a very nice uh, 250 miler next, uh, next May with some help from my friends. So, all right, I'll leave it there. I'm going to go take some pictures, show them off to you guys, and uh, we'll talk again soon.